The harsh fact of the matter is that official Ireland has absolutely and completely destroyed the lives of every single whistleblower who has come forward regardless from which organ of the state. It took Maurice McCabe 10 years of battling, the, battling against the state to finally begin repairing his life because the state made it as hard as possible for him and his family. The same goes for John Wilson and how he was treated. We should mention the Mary Boyle case and more recently the cover-up of the Grace scandal. The problem with this country is that official Ireland, those civil and public servants at the very top levels, the ones who have their hands on the levers, levers of power, seem to be completely immune from any form of sanction while those who do the right thing are vilified and their lives destroyed. And finally, the reason why there is such a row about getting people to pay for water or people lying on trolleys is because at the end of the day, the banks and their highly paid executives have always got to be paid. And it will always be the poor people of Ireland who will suffer the most unless this house has finally got the guts to do what is right. Which is why I'm in shock that items which I submitted for you all to see last Monday by 10 o'clock, I had to wait until yesterday, an hour before the close of business, to be told that I had to redact them.